I've actually been on a recording session uh, when we're doing a song and it and it hits the bridge and there's either no bridge or a really bad bridge for the song. So um, we took five and I wrote a bridge on a song and ended up getting 20% uh, of the song. I, I would say if you write a bridge for song for someone else, um, it could be anywhere from 10 to 20 percent depending on how generous the other writer is on the song as far as getting paid um you have to make sure um it, it you if you don't have other songs already recorded where you have a publishing name in in place with bmi or scap and you have someone that does your administration and your paperwork on your songwriting if it's the first time then uh, you have to go about Getting, uh, getting all the paperwork done, all the publishing paperwork done uh, through someone that does uh, publishing administration until you learn it. Later on, you may decide to do it for yourself, but if you want to make guaranteed of getting paid for the bridge you wrote or the course you wrote for someone uh, that's going to go on a, on a record project, then you have to get with uh, a, a music publisher that is, or a music publishing administrator and have to fill all the forms out. Usually you have to put the song title, what's your percentage that you've agreed with the other writer. Uh, you have to come up with a name for your publishing company that clears, that's not being used by someone else. And, um, and then when the record comes out, it's usually a six month wait, or when the album comes out, and, and the administration company will collect that money for it and you'll get a check. But if you can't be all like, Oh yeah, that's cool, dude. Uh, just let me know. You'll never get paid. I, I was um, ignorant to publishing all through the 80s, and I had over 30 cuts in Christian music, and I made just about just hundreds of dollars, and I know that I got screwed for thousands of dollars because uh, it's not anybody else's job but you, the writer, to know what your rights are and what the procedure is to get paid. And that's how you do it. You have to find someone that's an administration that will that will follow. Because if you don't have that, say say you write something on a record sells eighty thousand. I've been told that on an eighty thousand dollar project, I've been told by the artist manager, well, well, it didn't sell over forty until I checked with the record company, and it had sold double that. So I've been screwed out of fifty percent of that money, and unfortunately to a, a rough quote of the Hunter Thompson quote, do you know that quote? That the music business is a black hole where evil men prevail and good men die evil uh, die, die terrible deaths and then there's also a negative side. So th it actually is true. Uh, people either through omission or just flat out ripping you off, will tr you, you have to really really watch watch all your uh, you have to know your rights and you have to know how to get your rights and who to go to to get your rights or else you will be screwed That's basically all there is to it